This story starts and ends in different ways. The changing story is balanced by the changing way the main character, Gabriel Conroy, sees himself. Gabriel is a teacher who wants to be seen as a writer, even though his writing seems to be limited to journalism. The story seems to be mostly about the Mrs. Morkins' annual dance, which happens during the Christmas season and is attended by the Morkins' favorite nephew, Gabriel, and his wife, Greta, because Gabriel is the master of ceremonies. The story's impact, though, doesn't come until long after Gabriel leaves the party and learns new things about his wife and her past. The cast of characters at the Morkin house is big and shows many Irish stereotypes. There are the musically talented spinster Morkin sisters, Kate and Julia, and their musically talented niece, Mary Jane. There are also other characters, like Miss Molly Ivers, an Irish nationalist, and Freddie Malins, whose sobriety is a constant worry. Gabriel, on the other hand, becomes the main character when he shows up. He is a man who is a little too proud of his education and sophistication, arrogant and superior but aware of his social awkwardness. Gabriel is expected to give a speech after dinner, but he treats his audience like they are beneath him. Gabriel, on the other hand, is destined to learn how to be humble before the story is over. Gabriel Conroy is tired of his home country, his family, and the small town ways of his co-workers. Molly Ivers criticizes him for not caring about Irish politics, for writing for the Daily Express, which she says is more, West Britain, than, properly Irish, and for going to France and Belgium instead of the Aran Islands, which are a centre of Irish nationalism. Gabriel makes a fool of himself by telling her that he is, sick, of his own country in response to these accusations. Because of how blunt he was, Molly Ivers leaves the dance before dinner is served. Gabriel knows that it was his fault that she left so quickly. Joyce gives a lot of proof that Gabriel is rude and doesn't care about other people. In his own way, he doesn't fit in with other people because he offends them without meaning to. Gabriel's hypocritical after-dinner speech, in which he praises, warm-hearted, courteous Irish hospitality, and praises, the three graces of the Dublin musical world, Kate, Julia, and Mary Jane, and then raises a glass to them, seems to have gone over well. As the party is winding down, Gabriel sees his wife standing on the stairs, listening intently as Bartell Darcy sings, The Lass of Agram, while Miss O'Callaghan plays the piano. Gabriel thinks that his wife would be the subject of a painting he would call, Distant Music, if he were to paint it. Her bright eyes and pink cheeks make his blood flow faster. Gabriel thinks about how close they were when they were dating, and the spark of romance that Greta gave him starts to grow. He then takes his wife to a hotel, feeling like, they had escaped from their lives and responsibilities, escaped from home and friends, and run away together with wild and radiant hearts to a new adventure. He doesn't know much. Gabriel doesn't understand how upset his wife is because the lass of Agrim reminds her of Michael Fury, a boy she knew and loved in Galway. Michael died of a broken heart when Greta left Galway to move to Dublin when he was only 17. Find out about the dead Gabriel has to think about his relationship with his wife, his own small vanity, and how he sees himself because of Michael Fury. Because of this, people feel frustrated and let down. He has to face the fact that his wife's deep sadness over a romantic loss has nothing to do with him. Gabriel wants to be a writer, but he hasn't taken the time to get to know and understand the person he is closest to. This is the subjective epiphany that Joyce uses to end the story with an ironic twist. Gabriel is finally forced to realize that he has never felt that way about any woman, and that he is himself unfinished and unfulfilled. His illusions about himself are shattered, and the truth he learns hurts.